Today we will create this animation on our channel Think Sci-Fi. Click E for selecting everything and X for deleting everything. Then click Shift A and add plane. Click S8 but S5 will easy to adjustment. Then go to setting, setting tab and click the button just above the tab button and select top. This is a shortcut key for selecting the viewing angle. I am creating some space because the node are going to be little bit longer. Before adding any node, go back to layout and click Ctrl A and, and confirm scale. Then again go to setting tab and click new and make the base color darker. Then click on principal BSTF and click Ctrl D and make a duplicate. Turn the metallic completely on both the principal shader. Now click Shift A and add a bump node and connect it to the normal to the first principal. Then again press Shift A and add a Voronoi texture. And press Ctrl T if you have enabled Node Wrangler. Node Wrangler is an add-on which comes with Blender. For enable this, go to Edit Preferences, Add-on and search Node Wrangler and then click it. Now connect Voronoi to the bump height and made the strength of Voronoid around 1.8 or 7. And select Chebyshev and Smooth F1. Play with smoothness and randomness in Voronoid texture. I think we have to add the color wrap between Voronoi and Bump Mode. Make the smoothness 0.1 in Voronoi texture. And I think the color wrap is just a waste so click X and delete it. And connect Voronoi to the height of the bump. Now disconnect the first principle and connect the second principle first principle work is almost done click shift a and add a bump on second principle also connect it to the normal and add a brick texture by clicking shift a and connect it to the height of the bump and also connect the brick texture to the mapping. And make the brick scale around 3.5. Make the model size around 0 0.03 and model size around 5. Reduce the bump strength also. If you are enjoying the animation, please follow me on Instagram also. You will enjoy many more animations on my Instagram and if you want to download this you can go to my Shutterstock portfolio link are provided in the description. 
in Shutter Stock, you can get many more projects created by me and you can use them in your own project. Now click Shift A and add Mix Shader for connecting both principles. Connect the second principle in second slot and first principle in first. Both the textures are merging with each other which is not looking good. For having the control over the texture amount, we have to add color wrap. And connect the color wrap with Voronoi texture. And color wrap to the factor of mix shader. Now select constant in color wrap. Now if you drag the white portion, you will see that you have control over Voronoi. It is giving some feel of sci-fi look. Now add a color wrap between bricks, brick texture and bump node for adding some randomness in brick texture. Just both the color wrap until you get your satisfaction. Now make a duplicate of mix shader by pressing shift D and add transparent BS DF by pressing shift A and connect it with mix shader. Then go to material setting and mix your in blend mode you are in opaque and connect a color wrap between transparent and bump node and add constant in color wrap and if required select flip the color wrap. Oh sorry we have connected it with bump node we have to connect it with brick texture. Now if you increase the white portion by flipping the color wrap you will get this white texture and if you are happy with the setting then go to layout and again select top view. Then press shift A and add a point light. And select left view and go to move tool. And adjust the light under the plane. And increase the power up to 100 and change the color something orangey. Then again go to the top view and add a camera. Then press 0 num key 0 for the camera view. And now press G on the keyboard and middle mouse button and drag your mouse. The camera will also adjust according to your mouse movement. Click left key of mouse if you satisfied with your look and change the focal length. Go to the render view. Now you you can see some more sci-fi-ness. We have to add mini point light on the top of the plane. Add a point light and go and then go to the left view. And adjust the point light above the plane. Increase the power of the point light and see it in the render view. Adjust the light to the top corner of the plane. And then press shift D. Adjust the light at the opposite corner. Make the duplicates of point light and adjust it to the corners. Increase the power of all the four point light then go to the world setting and make it completely black. 
Select the first point light and make the power 1000. You have to spend some time on lighting setting for the best view. And yeah, if you select the scale size 5 rather than 8, then it will also make easy to adjust the light on the plane. Follow the light setting according to me and if required make a duplicate of light and adjust on the plane. Play with power and the radius of the light for the best view. Now if you are done with lighting then click on plane and shift D and mouse left click. Then drag the plane and adjust it to the bottom. Then again press shift D and mouse left key then drag it to the top. Now we have to animate the camera along with the lightings. So first of all click on the last lighting then hold shift key and click on first lighting. Now press and hold control key and click on camera. Then press Ctrl P on keyboard and select object. All the light setup get connected with the camera. Now drag a timeline little bit and give a 120 frame animation. Then go to the zero on timeline and enter 8 on location Y and enter keyframe. Then go to the last frame on the timeline and enter minus 8 on the Y axis and close the keyframe. Now the animation is ready. If you still want to add some light then make a duplicate of the light. It will get connected automatically with the camera. Then go to the render setting and turn on the all three options. For saving the animation go to the printer icon and select your location in the output and then follow my settings. Select lossless if your computer can handle it then render render animation. Thank you for watching, if you like the animation hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for the notifications. And if you have any suggestions let me know in the comment section.